Hi guys, welcome to BNG TV. I'm the Sonia Shapeju, and today we're here with Viani, who is an. Um, you're not. You don't do Afrobeats. I won't say you do Afrobeats. No. You're more of R and B. When I was listening to your song, I was thinking, okay, this is different. You're more R and B. You do producing. Mm. You're an artist, and you dance. You think I don't know about you dancing? <laughs> I remember old videos back when of you dancing. How did this start? How did everything start? To be honest, I'm just a hands-on person, mm-hmm. isn't it? so. If I think I can do something, I'm going to do it. What made you start music? Um, well, like really and truly, I just used to go to like studio sessions, but I never did anything. I was just there, innit? Like I can play instruments. I play the piano and the guitar. Mm. So I used to go to the studio and just play. And then every now and then I was trying to help people with their lyrics. And then one day I went to the studio and MB got onto me. Yeah. He was like, oh, do this. And then I done it. And then I spoke to my manager and I was like, well, I think I might do this music thing, you know. So when, when did you start doing music? Um, a year ago, in August, is when I released. Okay, so it's about to be your one year anniversary then. Mm. So how did, like, what inspires you in terms of music? Like, who what? do you look up to and what inspires you? I look up to myself, innit? Mm-hmm. But in terms of, like, when you want to, do you write your own songs? Yeah, of course. So, like, how do you get the inspiration? Are you just sitting, sitting in the toilet? Or you, how does it come up, like... Majority of the time, the inspiration comes around who I'm with, innit? Mm-hmm. So when I go to the studio, I'm with my managers, I'm with MB, I'm with Dust or Gams, yeah, or Mikkel. And we're there, and then we have like a vibe, you get me? Yeah. We don't ever look out and think we need to do something like this because why are we doing something that someone's yeah. done? Mm-hmm. The aim is to be yourself. Yeah, mm-hmm. I get it, yeah. I know your recent single, ODT, mm-hmm. that's great by the way so how did you how did you come up with that um it's a funny song actually odt is Mm -hmm. me expressing myself in situations that i've been in like you know like when you're talking to someone and then they start acting up like no i don't know but because no one acts up with me but what do you mean (laughs) i'm joking i actually know i fully know i can even say my own experiences have you ever cheated first of all yeah Wait, 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 what? Why did you, can you just be like, yeah? What did you want me to say? No, I'm a liar then, isn't it? Because if I, if I did do a thing with the girls, you're going to watch it, he's a liar. Yeah, cheated, yeah, 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 true, if the girl's watching. What, so... <sighs> In a sense, okay, I can't, I can't really call it you... cheating because, I, like, she wasn't my girl, but my heart was with her. Oh, so I, I, I'm doing her dirty, yeah, so it yeah, is cheating. Yeah, you get it is me? kind of cheating, yeah. Like, I know, I know but at the end of the day. But why would you if your heart was with her? Because, like, we soul, can it? We're all humans, fam. When you're upset, you do things. Like, this is the, it's the real life. Like, when you're upset, you do things. Obviously, I'm not proud of it, yeah. but it happened. Like, I'm not going to deny it. Has anyone ever cheated on you? Of course. Of course. You're acting of like course. this is the ideal world. Everyone this is the real them. world, though. People think that it's you know, a fairy tale. It's actually, but I don't know. It's like, what everyone just don't wake up. In, if you think today you can wake up and you get a boyfriend and he's going out and he's not cheating on you, you're moving mad. So you, you need to know in the back of your head that you, I'm not yeah, the only person yeah, in the world. I would definitely you know, know I mean? that there's a possibility yeah, of course. this guy, because it's actually like, you're right, boys like girls. That's life. Yeah. But you do expect people to be loyal. Yeah, of course. Like, I'm not saying I'm not a loyal person. Of course, oh, I, was, I, was, I was down. Things was getting mad. And but then you could have went to her. No, but obviously things were getting perceptual in a sense where we were leaving each other. Oh, okay. And obviously I'm leaving her, but me leaving her is still... It's not me being happy. It's me yeah. still sulking. Uh-huh. So in the long run, I've told her, like, oh, well, well, we're not together anyways. Oh. Blah blah blah, and it wasn't in, it wasn't like she found out. I showed her. Oh, okay. I told her that she was like, "What have you been keeping up with?" I told her that well, I did my thing. She's like, "What?" You get me, but. And what are you talking to her now? Are you guys cool now? Somewhat. Oh, I'm, I'm, I know you're watching, man. I'm just, <laughs> I actually feel you. You can jump in my DMs. Honestly, I actually feel you. Feel okay. her what? You no, know, this is this is sad. It's <laughs> sad, you know. What's but, sad? I don't think I've ever... Then again, I would never know if someone's cheated on me. This is what I'm saying. So I would why actually I... never know. So I can't ever say I don't think a boy has ever cheated on me because I don't know. It's actually a hard... It's actually a cold one. No, it's, it's, it's mad out here. But... It's actually cold. Okay, let's just move past all of that because me, I'm not even feeling well. I don't want to be sad. Like <laughs> We know you dropped the Jungle Boy freestyle mm. on Instagram. Mm. When is that? Bruh, that was... 
um, the thing I made the other day with MB. Exactly. So um, that was we need that. <laughs> <laughs> we actually need that. So what's the what's the process on that? Um, to be honest, my process with studio is when I'm there, I work in it. Mm -hmm. So if I feel like you know what, I haven't showed them enough. I yeah. might show you something, but just wait for it. Innit? Okay. You get me? I'm not gonna get, I'm gonna I'm not gonna tell you when it's coming. It's coming because you've seen it. Like you you yeah, know what's yeah, happening. Yeah. You know it's happening. So uh -huh. it's you have a very very different fashion sense. I mm -hmm. remember back in the day, maybe a year ago or two years ago, this picture of you went viral in Uggs. Do you mm -hmm. know what I'm talking yeah. about? And obviously it was kind of controversial. Like obviously a lot of people were saying, "Not oh, why is he wearing Uggs? Why are boys now wearing Uggs?" And people were saying, "You look good." Mm -hmm. So. How does that set you different from others? Like, how do you, like, who inspires you in terms of fashion? Um, if I'm honest, obviously, I do look into Tumblr and stuff mm -hmm. like that. So <laughs> I do look into things like ASAP Rocky, Young Fug. Mm -hmm. Like, you know, like, different is the new. Do you know yeah. what I mean? And obviously, like, now, being different is normal because everyone's trying to be different. Mm -hmm. But they're not trying to be themselves. Yeah whilst you're being different, do you know what I mean? You're trying to be different because you've seen someone else do it. Do what you do. Uh -huh. Like, someone is going to free it and be like, oh. Yeah, that's true. Do you know what I mean? Like, yeah. obviously, me wearing Uggs, like, I looked into it. I'm not going to lie. Uggs were made for skiers, guys that mm. ski. Yeah. You get me? And it's actually men's shoes. Mm, okay. So it's a unisex boot. So, obviously, when I've, when I've gone into the Uggs store and I've heard that, I was like, all right, cool. I don't care. No one can check it for me. You get me? So when I put, I'm, I'm not going to lie, I had them for like a couple of months. I didn't come uh -huh. outside. You get me? I wore them in my yard. Uh -huh. And then I come out and then I was like, you know, you know what? Let me do it, innit? And then... And then you've done it. And then how, how did you handle them comments? Because I already know that Twitter is not a joke. Yeah. Then Twitter, how did you handle that? Because I do remember people were like, why? But I, then again, then afterwards, people started doing it. Yeah. I, I could literally, I remember some people, some boys who started wearing Uggs. Mm. Like, do you reckon you started that? Yeah, I, I can I, I, I do feel like I hold some sort of weight with that because I didn't see it uh -huh. happening until I did it. Yeah. And when I did it publicly, I made other people comfortable, and that's the aim in this world. If you can do something and make a difference, then you've done your job, isn't it? So true. Yeah, it's actually so true. Okay, tell us something that no one knows about you. It doesn't have to be a secret, but something that no one knows about you. I feel like no one knows, but yeah. I don't like feet. You don't like feet? If you got rubbish feet, you got problems. So what, so. your girl has to have, you know, nice, what? medical, everything? Everything, everything. Like you crisp. don't like feet, you can't have nasty yeah. feet around you. And I don't like bits in my juice. Bits in your juice? If you give me a drink with bits in it, trust me, it's beef. Yeah, at least your fans you are now up. knowing this. At least girls <laughs> are now knowing this. They're, they're getting educated here. Okay, in terms of other artists, mm -hmm. like, because for some reason, everyone we sit down with, let's be real, has a problem with someone out there. It's actually crazy. Mm. Do you, or are you one of them, you know, neutral guys, you know, no problem I don't, with no I don't one. have a problem with nobody. You could call me troublesome, you could call me a bad guy. That's mm -hmm. your life. Mm -hmm. My life, I'm free, I'm easy. Mm. You, I see you when I see you. Yeah. You get me? I'm not going to make you my problem. If mm -hmm. you've got a problem with me, let me. You know who I am. Yeah. You know what I mean? Are you adding people or you... No, like, I'm saying it in the open, in, in general. Like, if you've got a problem with me, you know where I am. Fine. Mm -hmm. Where are you from? Like, because I'm... Like, literally, when we were walking here, you're telling me about <laughs> the area yeah. you're from. I'm from. Like, you're from Brixton. <laughs> you know, this <laughs> and that. I was just like... <laughs> no, like, okay. obviously... I don't, obviously, the conversation we had, you asked me, do, where do you go and stuff and mm -hmm. all these things. So, obviously, I showed you where, like, I'm, yeah. I'm from and where I chill, innit? I'm from yeah. South London. If you're from South I'm London, from hold South. your, I'm from hold, South. hold tight your I'm thing. I'm from South. You know what I mean? And in South London, we work our way, like, we're all a pack, you know what mm -hmm. I mean? So, I don't really care where you're from. Yeah. You know I, mean? I don't care where you're on, like, I've never seen you around there. Yeah. So, what's wrong? Shinestone's your cousin. Mm. Who do you think's better out of you guys? You do have things better. You have to be honest. You actually have to be honest. I have to be honest. Yeah. I don't know. What do you mean you don't know? I don't, I don't know who's better. Like, he's better than me at doing certain things. I'm better than him at doing certain things. At the end of the day, it's who decides, isn't it? Mm -hmm. okay. I, don't, I don't wake up in the morning to think I need to be better than yeah. Shines, and I wake up in the morning to be, I need to be the best but, to be on. Mm -hmm. So, who do you like out of the two of us? Um. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, CBC trouble. Um, <laughs> probably you, if I'm being honest. Um, Shinestone's calling cool that, but um, 
Yeah, like probably you because you don't, you're not Afro beats. Like you, mm. and as you were just saying with the whole Congolese thing, he speaks Congolese mm. and everything. And so I don't really vibe to that. I li- I'm being honest. Mm. You, you're more like, I'll think I'm listening to some American guy. Do you get what I mean? Mm. So probably you in terms of your music. I remember this was not too long ago. Kitty One King, they made a diss track to Shinestone. This was literally all over the TL. Like, how how are you feeling about that? I'm not gonna lie, because then like we had them in like a couple of days ago, and they don't really rate Shinestone. Like, like what is all of this? Like, I don't know. Well, obviously, Shinestone is doing his thing in it, and uh-huh. obviously guys are preening it. To be honest, even with the diss track, like if I didn't know he made the diss track, I would have never known he makes music. So you're not mm. doing it. What, is it a he? Is, is it a group or is well, it a he? They're a group. I don't know. Like, if there's ten of them, there's four, there's four, there's one. I don't know if you know or you don't know me. Uh. Because you guys know me because I make music. Yeah. You've heard my music. I ain't heard yours. You've come out of nowhere and you're talking about my cousin. What's going on? Yeah. Where, where, you, where who are you? Okay, before we come to a close and I ask you more questions, who do, who's the top three? Let me ask you two questions, actually. Who's the top three people that you actually rate in this whole UK scene? Like, does it have to, okay, it can be Afrobeats, it can be what you do as well. Mm. Top three. Um, and this is as an artist, so it could be a producer or... No, it could be anyone. Okay, well, for me, my first one is going to have to be my GMB. Okay, yeah, I knew you were going to say that. He's the talk of the town, you get me? Everyone uh-huh. right now is listening to MB. Uh-huh. You get me? And then, secondly, <sighs> Huss. Okay, because yeah. he came with his own thing. Yeah, he like when he did. came, he came with his own different kind of, I don't know, he's got like a flavour, a sauce. Uh-huh, yeah. You get me? <laughs> and then, I say myself, innit? Okay, yeah, I like <laughs> that. Okay. You get me? Mm-hmm. I am my biggest friend, I am my biggest fan. You get me? At the end of the day, if I don't sit down and do what I need to do, then how is everyone else going to like it? Okay. So I need to like myself. So, okay, this is a real question that people want to know now. Who's the bottom, <laughs> your th- bottom three? My that bottom you don't three. don't really listen to, Ray. Um, what's this guy's name, man? That's how you know it's bottom three, <laughs> if he doesn't even know the what guy's name. name. No, there's, like, there's people I won't listen to, like, this. I don't know. Give me, give, give me some names. Hey. Give me some names, and obviously, okay, if, I, I, if I don't, I feel okay. like I don't like them, I'll say no. Oh, that's the thing. My head's just blank right now. Okay. Afrobeats. Yeah, go on. Do I do Afrobeats? Yeah, do it. Afrobeats. Um, okay. Mr. Silver. Yeah, Mr. Silver's cool. Uh, Crimes and Flavor. Yeah, they guys. Jay Hollands. That's my bro. You know when I can't even think? SK. That's my bro, so. You know when I can't... Okay, NSG. Yeah. They're calm. <laughs> I don't know. I fully don't know. Who else does... Okay, Rex and Bino, they were here yesterday. No, I wouldn't make music with them, so. Okay, that's a no for Rex and Bino. <laughs> um, um, CXCV, that's a no from CXCV. You know, I don't know, what, what's going on with me? I do listen to music. Okay, Solem, official Solem. Do you know who that is? Who's that? Okay, that's a no for Solem. Um, Shinestone, yeah, you work, you mm. work to Shinestone. Okay, I, I, this is my last one. Oh my days. Who, who, who? Who? I don't know. Okay, Weezy. Yeah. Okay, cool. So we, we, now we know who you would work with and who you won't work with. Mm-hmm. Now, in terms of 2016, this year is just coming, it's just quickly like this, already July soon, like, so what do you have coming this 2016? Summer 16, in fact, mm-hmm. what, because it's like everyone's planning to shock them summer 16. Yeah. What do you have? What, like, if you can say, look, yeah. you know, a little hint. All, all I can really say is that it's going to get gazy. Where we're from, okay. where I'm, my camp, that's what we say, it's gazy. G- gazy. Yeah. And that means? Gazy is like, well, it's long, isn't it? Right. It's, okay. So summer 16 or just... 2016 in general? No, I'm talking about us. Like, okay. Obviously, there's Summer 16, Yeah. there's 2016, and then there's Empire Sound. Okay. What's coming next yeah. is what's going to happen. What, is it me? a video, a music release? Is it a show? Um, well, there's, there's loads of things in the pipeline, but for now, what I can give you for free, Wait Me Up is coming. Okay. Um, for that. Possibly that Jungle Boy. Okay. Um, 
There's quite a few other things that I've done with other people that I'm mixing in the pipeline. That okay. I... Watch out for that, guys. That's enough from me and Viani. Thank you so much for watching this episode. Tune in for our next one. Bye. Mm -hmm.